glycosin. It's a very science and evidence-based formulation. It's a unique product. There's no other product on the planet that has these two ingredients, carb 10 and mod carb. It is focusing on sustained energy and strength. It's ideal for a pre-exercise, intra-workouts, post-workouts, and also for the world of carbo-loading or carbohydrate loading or carbohydrate supercompensation that many of you are familiar with, especially in the endurance world the marathoners, the triathletes, the soccer players, uh, any sporting event, an athletic event that lasts for 90 minutes or more. It's indicated for all athletes and also even for student athletes and younger athletes. There's, there's no banned substances here. A lot of kids, you know, they're burning carbs or burning energy very quickly, and a product like this would be very effective. The body needs refueling, and... Carbohydrates, even though, you know, carb, we do focus a lot on protein, but, you know, I'm glad that we are focusing on carbohydrates because they are critical uh, to support energy, fuel, and endurance because, you know, that's what's really uh, fueling uh, the muscles during exercise. So continual streams of carbohydrates, even during exercise, is critical for overall performance and Believe me, there's a ton of studies published. These studies were initiated in the mid-60s by Sherman and Costill and, and other researchers at Ball State University in terms of, you know, carbo-loading. We use carbohydrates continually, about a gram per minute uh, during exercise. And so you can see that carbohydrates would be depleted continually, uh, especially events uh, over 90 minutes. Uh, glycogen is a storage form of carbohydrates in the body, and it's primarily stored in the muscles and the liver. We have about 500 grams, on average, for the average adult, of storage of carbohydrate in these tissues. Uh, most is stored in muscle, about 400 grams of carbohydrates, 4 calories a gram, so we'd have 1,600 calories available fuel in the muscle and about... Uh, 90 in the liver, but primarily muscle glycogen is the key barometer in terms of energy during exercise. And then during exercise, uh, the priority would be muscle glycogen being used, uh, then we use blood glucose, and then we use liver glycogen. But the point of all this science is that we're using the carbohydrates, the glycogen in our muscles to fuel exercise. So the more glycogen, the more storage, the longer one has, and when uh, glycogen is depleted, uh, there's terms in marathoners called bonking or hitting the wall where, you know, it, the body literally shuts down, the muscles just do not perform, a lot of other signs and symptoms, and basically the tank is empty. The total carbohydrate concentration, there's 22 grams per serving. American College of Sports Medicine and the International Society for Sports Nutrition all have guidelines uh, in terms of nutrient timing, and, uh, you know, it's generally between that, you know, 30 and 60 grams per hour because we are using a gram of carbohydrate, you know, per hour. So one to two scoops uh, would be ideal uh, in any uh, pre-, during-, and post-workout drink, keeping it, you know, cold, uh, hydration, and would be very effective for any any athlete. Protein does benefit with carbohydrate, that the world of what's called timing or nutrient timing in combining both carbohydrates and protein. So adding some isolate, branch chain amino acids, glutamine, you know, to this product to kind of customize would be, you know, very effective. Almost going to a arm uh, type product, but, uh, you know, again, allowing the, the customization. Carb 10 is from Compound Solutions, and they've done some, you know, pretty interesting studies on it. Uh, it's primarily pea starch. We've been focusing on, on pea protein a lot, uh, pea protein isolate for the protein. Pea is very a useful grain, but this is the pea starch, and it's a uh, proprietary processing of the pea to uh, identify the starch. And then Mod Carb is actually a blend of organic uh, grains, of uh, oat bran, Amaranth, quinoa, buckwheat, millet, and chia. 
Uh, so we have a, you know, a very interesting blend of, of organic grains you know, in this product and then the combination of the two. So you really have the, the pea along with these other uh, grains found in, in mod carb. Uh, carb 10 is non-GMO. It's low glycemic. That's very important. Having a low insulin response, it does quickly enter into the system in terms of gastric emptying. Uh, it's also gluten-free and non-allergenic. And so basically when you're looking at the standard uh, outcome studies of blood glucose and insulin and stomach volume and glycemic index, the CARB-10 shows a more even keel. Uh, you don't have the rapid rises in blood glucose. Even though the product enters into the system quickly, you don't have that glucose spike. And when you have that uh, simple sugar spike, you're also going to get that insulin spike. And, and this is based on a dose of 25 grams per serving. So the bottom line here is that CARB-10, and also we see with mod carb, uh, it enters into the system uh, quickly, but you don't have that uh, high glycemic spiking uh, that occurs that, that people don't want. So, you know, during exercise, you may not have that rebound uh, insulin, you know, driving insulin levels very high because insulin levels become very sensitive during exercise and it enables and it drives glucose, you know, into the cells. But the key thing is the, ava the amount of available glycogen that you have in your muscles and liver, you know, when you begin and during exercise because you can't carbo-load during exercise. It's ineffective. So it's basically what you have in storage. So a product like glycosin would be very effective to increase the carbohydrates, aside from carbohydrate-rich meals, to increase uh, the, the concentrations of glycogen in the muscle. And individuals who do the, glyco, the carbo-loading uh, regime, uh, it, it's been shown based on biopsies that you can double or triple the concentration. So you can exceed that gram amount based on really packing in uh, glycogen into the liver. So uh, very effective. It provides really healthy and low glycemic sustained release carbohydrates. There's a lot of interest in sustained release carbohydrates, uh, you know, carbohydrates that don't spike blood sugar very quickly and that are introduced into the system quickly and also for, you know, long endurance. We did add citrulline malate, cinnamon extract, and GPA, which is guanadinopropionic acid, along with promelin, and these really assist in the assimilation, transport, and functionality of, of the carbohydrates. We have unflavored, uh, which makes it very versatile, and it actually tastes very good. I mean, you know, for a mild taste, we have unflavored. We also have strawberry lemonade for those who, who do want flavor. The unflavored is actually non-GMO, even though we have uh, we don't have this on the label, but all the ingredients are non-genetically modified. Uh, I know that's becoming more and more important. So the unflavored is non-GMO. Uh, we can't claim that on the strawberry lemonade because the flavors uh, in the, the several flavors that we use in the strawberry lemonade are not, you know, they they, they aren't non-GMO, so we cannot make that claim. So if that's important, the unflavored is is non-GMO, uh, and the strawberry lemonade is not. Uh, in my opinion, uh, somebody who is uh, following kind of a gluten-free or low gluten uh, would be able to use this product. You know, because the gluten uh, levels are tested low, but they're just not low enough where we can make the, the gluten-free claim.